The Philip Schofield scandal may have died down somewhat but the after-effects of the debacle still ramble on. This morning presenter Holly Willoughby took to social media recently to share a heartfelt post of her rarely seen dad Terry following a difficult few weeks. Holly, 42, gushed in a tribute on Instagram to her 8.3 million followers, writing, Dad. We all love you so much, so lucky to have you. Happy Father's Day, as the snap showed Terry Willoughby beaming in her back garden while affectionately petting her cat Bluebell and dog Bailey. In stark contrast the daughters of her former ITV colleague Philip Schofield appear to have kept completely silent on paying any tributes following his controversial spotlight. Phil's eldest daughter Molly May is said to have found out about his affair just minutes before the news became public as she heard the news whilst she was at work. She had been doing her shift as normal at YMU, the talent agency that manages a wealth of ITV personalities and, up until recently, her dad. Molly has worked there for the last eight years according to her LinkedIn page which states she started back in 2015 as a PA and social talent assistant manager before landing her current role which included working alongside celebs such as Stacey Solomon. It's the very same talent agency in which Amanda Holden's husband, Chris Hughes, has reportedly quit his role as director. It represents his wife and her colleague Simon Cowell, but it has been revealed that Chris resigned as director in mid-April, two months ago, and the business is said to have turned to well-trusted advisors to explore their options with regards to a financial restructure. On top of this, the publication revealed that, according to its latest figures, the company has made a loss of £4.8 million with net liabilities of £74.7 million. Chris is just one of many directors, 10, according to Mail Online, who have bid farewell to the company over the last few years. With this financial difficulty being assessed, a source close to the company told the publication it is exploring the possibility of a sale and that it has taken on board consultants Alex Partners to carry out an independent review on the business. Some of the firm's roster includes big names such as lovable duo Anton Deck, Alex Jones, Claudia Winkleman, David Walliams, Davina McCall, Paddy McGuinness, Tess Daly, Vernon Kay, Ruth Langsford, Rylan, Joe Swash, Fern Cotton, and Graham Norton. YMU is a global talent agency which represents over 1,000 clients. One new signee is Paris Hilton, whose initials stand for you, me, and us. It is seen as one of the most prominent agencies in the entertainment industry and despite these reports, has said it is on track for significant profit growth in 2023. Also in the news is the bombshell revelation that ITV has reportedly refused to pay for Philip Schofield's former lover to receive private therapy. Mr. Schofield was apparently offered a private therapy package following his exodus from this morning. But the star's younger lover, a runner who worked with Mr. Schofield, was denied compensation for therapy when he asked according to an insider. The source, slamming ITV for being slightly hypocritical, says the network told Mr. Schofield it would pay for any therapy, but only offered the runner a basic package, which he is understood to have rejected. An ITV spokesperson said, we are offering duty of care support to both Philip Schofield and Person X. ITV boss Dane Carolyn McCall confirmed last week Mr. Schofield is receiving counseling since his exit and she is very concerned about his welfare, adding that she felt he had been hounded. Dame Carolyn also confirmed there is no gagging order or NDA to stop his Person X from speaking out about the situation, but confirmed he had specified Mr. Schofield was a family friend on his work experience application form. There were no alarm bells across ITV, she said of his application form. Person X did work experience at this morning age 19 for roughly two weeks and impressed people before being put on a runner pool and later offered a longer-term fixed contract, Parliament heard last week. A host of people are seemingly backtracking from their initial reaction to the Philip Schofield scandal, with former This Morning star Dr. Ranch being just one of them. He has now said his complaint about a toxic culture was not to do with Philip Schofield. The doctor was among those to speak out amid the scandal, which saw accusations of bullying at the ITV show and Schofield stepping down and admitting to an unwise but not illegal affair with a younger colleague. He said that during his time on the show he became concerned about the way some people, including him, were treated and that after he raised his worries he found himself being used less and less. Dr. Ranch has now taken to social media yet again to explain that his complaint had not been to do with Schofield. 
just for clarity, my complaint and investigation was not about Philip, it was not about ITV as a channel, and I did speak up when I was working on this morning, he tweeted. I flagged up my concerns as I was supposed to, and I did it because I wanted things to be better for all. As I still do. He went on, policies and procedures may be in place, but that doesn't mean everyone is aware, feels empowered to use them. And investigations are only as good as the people, questions you ask. If you can't, won't speak up, you won't get the full picture. This applies across all industries. The TV star was speaking days after ITV boss Dame Carolyn McCall appeared before a select committee for the Department of Culture, Media, and Sport to answer questions about what went on. The stars of Celebrity Goggle Box took a swipe at Philip Schofield's This Morning Exit during Friday night's episode. Returning to their sofas to critique an array of this week's TV shows was Roman Kemp and his dad Martin, Catherine Ryan and fiancé Bobby Koopstra, comedian Rob Beckett with Tom Allen and Nick Grimshaw and his niece, Liv. Happy Mondays Bears and Sean, TV presenter Davina McCall and boyfriend Michael Douglas, Tom Grennan and his dad Martin and models Monroe Bergdorf and Leomi Anderson also joined in. And Roman and Martin did not hold back when it came to sharing their thoughts on Philip's departure when shown a segment from this morning during their goggle box stint. Before the clip had a chance to get underway, Roman sang along to the This Morning theme tune, quipping, nothing is wrong, nothing is wrong, with our show. In the clip, presenters Alison Hammond and Dermot O'Leary were seen encouraging viewers to shake the stress away with a 90s-themed disco, with Catherine Ryan chiming in to mock their toxic workplace. They're like, see, what toxic work environment. Look how non-toxic we are, the comedian laughed. Rob joked, I'm starting to think that Schofield got the better deal here. In the studio, employees were seen dancing to the tunes and waving glow sticks, with the celebrities taking a brutal swipe at everyone. Nick's niece Liv questioned, is that all the people that work at this morning? I thought there would be more. Oh everyone's been fired, haven't they? Nick quipped back. Tom later said to Rob, there's no windows in their office, while Rob replied, they don't want to see what's going on that's why. Fans of Alison Hammond have shared their support after she revealed details of a new job away from this morning. Since the Philip Schofield scandal Alison has been quiet on the social media front. She previously broke down in tears when speaking publicly on the first interview Schofield gave since he left ITV after admitting to an affair he had with a younger colleague. As they showed footage from an interview Schofield had done with the BBC's Amol Rajan, in which the former TV star spoke about the effect on his mental health, Alison broke down as she said, I loved Philip Schofield. It's weird because I still love him. As a family, we're all really struggling to process everything. My mum always said use your bible as your sat nav. He without sin cast the first stone. I don't want to say anything bad because I am in conflict. Alison's emotional display then continued as she said, there is only so much a man can take. While she has been back on the program since, Alison has kept a low profile on social media until Thursday June 15th when she shouted about taking on a new role, albeit temporarily, as part of some advertising work. The much-loved TV star had commuters in hysterics when she turned up at London's Paddington station on June 15th, announcing that she had become a chief inspector for Virgin Trains. In the social media video, Alison was seen encouraging the public to use the Virgin Trains ticketing app, announcing, I am the chief points inspector today here at Paddington. It is absolutely amazing. She tweeted, I'm dressed like this, I am absolutely loving it. And on Instagram, she cheekily added, do you think I can keep the hat, as she sported a red sparkling jacket and train driver hat. And, cruise ship singer Jane McDonald has been named as the number one choice to replace Philip Schofield on Dancing on Ice. Jane, who stood in for the former This Morning star at the British Soap Awards earlier this month, is said to have blown ITV bosses away. And the 60-year-old could now step into Philip's old skating shoes and join Holly Willoughby, 42, on the rink after sources confirmed the presenter has no plans to quit the show. One insider said, Jane is now the favorite to replace Philip on Dancing on Ice when it returns next year. She did a great job hosting the Soap Awards earlier this month and bosses are keen to sign her up. She had people in stitches and they love how frank she is, while also being very warm. 
Philip, 61, left ITV last month after admitting he had lied about an affair with a runner, so the 2023 series of Dancing on Ice, won by gymnast Niall Wilson and skater Olivia Smart, was his last. Holly's future at ITV has also been in doubt after the BBC had launched a bid to poach her. But sources insist she has no plans to leave Dancing on Ice. One said, we are very much expecting Holly to be back. She has not indicated she might step away. Singer Jane has presented a string of travel shows, been a loose women panelist and appeared on Celebrity Goggle Box. An ITV source said any reports about her were speculation, adding the 2024 Dancing on Ice lineup will not be confirmed until later in the year. It could be said that cruise ship singer Jane has been somewhat cashing in on the downfall of X This Morning co-host Philip Schofield lately, but perhaps she might reconsider if offered the gig of his replacement on Dancing on Ice. You never know, there still could be a few nasty Schofield-shaped icebergs for the previously good ship ITV to navigate. Please like and subscribe for more journeys through the blinker hole. For entertainment purposes only.